Uh, sometimes, when, especially when we're communicating with people, we don't ever have to be explicit with many things. It's usually implied in many. For example, so uh, let me give you once again. Let's go to the Constitution, not the Constitution, Declaration of Independence. I like this document. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. You know, uh, all men are created equal. Uh, that's a very lovely statement, but back when it was first uttered, it didn't mean what it means to us today. I don't think it's true either. Well, I mean, then we'll, we can we can discuss that too. You know, all men are created yeah. equal, right? So, but you know, back then it meant white landowners, right? Basically, that was yeah. it. But you know, today people don't understand that because they don't read the history, so they didn't understand the implicit context behind the statement. Um, but you know, I think that if you study it, it's very obvious. Again, like the Constitution, everybody knows, even though I know a lot of people in, in the U.S. treat it like it's scripture. But we, we know it's not scripture. We know that it was written by the founding fathers. Yeah, the Constitution was written by human beings. And whenever we talk about the Quran and interpretation of the Quran, uh, you know, I, especially with uh, American Muslims, I find that they go back and they start talking about interpretation of the Constitution and how the Second Amendment is vague. Like, well, that was written by human beings in the 1700s. It's a very different situation than when you're making a claim that this was written by the creator of the universe, a guy who created the binary pulsars and a hundred billion galaxies. And why would this creator of the universe care um, how many witnesses you have to your adultery? Like, is that something? Do you ever feel like it's too narrow? Seems like, more political rather than something that. That's what I'm you saying. You admit it is it's political rather than something that seems like it actually comes from the creator of the universe. Well, Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim majority countries, advocating for atheists, secularists, and Enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian. Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.